Uh, hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup and talking to you guys. Today I am just gonna chat and put some makeup on because you guys are great therapy. Um, so if you wanna see how I did this look and just a weirdo life update, make sure to stay tuned. Well, happy Friday. We have made it through another week. Um, I'm just gonna feel it kind of chatty today, so I'm gonna try um, this Revolution palette. It is the Velvet Rose palette. I have tried a few of the kind of purpley shades in here, so I wanted to try a little bit of the brown. Um, and this really pretty sparkly gold one up here has been just calling me today, so we'll see how it goes. Look how red my face is today. I just got out of the shower where I did like a mask and a scrub and just like did a little spa day because I deep cleaned my hair today, which means I had to do like a super intensive mask on my hair. Um, so when I do that, then I just take like the whole shower for just, you know, exfoliating and um, all of that. So I did a face mask close in there and it made my face a little bit red, a little bit extra red, we should say. I think I'm gonna go with the Milani Conceal and Perfect again today. I just really like this one and how it makes my skin look. Um, I don't know, I just, it's a good foundation. I don't probably need two pumps, but I just wanted to be fancy for you guys. Mm, nice. Well, um, I don't really have a whole lot going on. This is kind of a super tame, God. This is a pretty super tape week in my life, um, you know? So last time in my last Get Ready With Me, I had been talking about how, I don't know what we're gonna do. We had some, you know, news pop up in our family where, you know, our financial future and security was kind of up in the air and it's still pretty much like that. But it was such a weird thing because as soon as I filmed and uploaded that video last week, I got an interview for basically like my dream job here. It was a really awesome company and um, it was basically the perfect job for me. Um, it was what I have, you know, almost what, eight, seven, seven years of experience in and it was like it was perfect so I was like oh my gosh this is it this is the universe giving us a sign that everything is gonna be fine and things for our family is gonna turn around and everything will be good um, so I went in nailed it like killed the interview then went in a day no two days later so that was Monday and then on Wednesday I went in and talked to the actual owner of the business great interview so good I walked out of there like thinking like it was one of those jobs where you walk out and you're already planning how you're gonna do the job like I was like as soon as I get in I'm gonna like need to do this and organize this and get um, you know these things going for the company and it's gonna be so good we can do these um, different campaigns and they said by Friday they'll have a decision made so Friday came and went and I didn't hear anything and I was like that's kind of interesting. So it was late in the afternoon on Friday and I sent a message to the girl that um, was hiring and I like had completely hit it off with and you know it's just like hey wondering if a decision has been made or if there's any updates. So when I didn't hear back from her by the end of the day on Friday like it hit me. I was like oh I didn't get it. Um, and then of course like I tell my best friend and I tell my husband and I'm so upset and but I'm like not that upset because I'm like you know what maybe they haven't actually made a decision. Um, my best friend is like, has done a lot of hiring in her day and she's like, if you were a finalist and they haven't reached out to you, that means they haven't made a decision. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna freak out. I'm gonna try to enjoy my weekend with my family um, because my niece and nephew and my brother came to town and we did like a little mini birthday for my nephew, which was so fun. Like I love seeing my son play with my brother's kids. It just makes me so happy that he gets to know his cousins. I mean, they don't live in town, they live three hours away, but still like seeing them play together makes me so happy. So anyway, um, weekend came and went. Monday, like halfway through the day, it wasn't even first thing in the morning, which is like such a bummer because like, I, I mean, I understand it's me that was, you know, waiting and waiting for the answer, but it's like, if you already had the answer, 
um, I felt kind of bummed that they didn't just let me know right away. And I think we all know now that the answer was no. Um, so I responded back and I asked, you know, was there a reason? I mean, not not like, what, what did I have wrong? It's like, this is something you should do whenever you don't get a job and you're generally, genuinely curious about is ask. Ask for feedback, ask, um, was my experience lacking or was there something I can do in other further interviews to um, have more success or something, you know, along those lines. So I responded and asked her and she kind of, the email I got back was just like, oh, she came in with some examples of, you know, social media uh, campaigns that she'd done. And I was like, okay, you know, thank you for the you know information. I'll take that into the future. But then that also made me think, I was like, in all of my years, which are many, of applying for jobs in the creative and marketing field and getting jobs and getting hired, like, not to brag, but I usually get the jobs I go for. Um, I've never been either asked to bring a portfolio or been up against somebody who provided a portfolio. I have a portfolio website and I always include that in my um, applications, but I've never physically brought them. And then I got to thinking to myself, it's like, oh, this is the kind of thing people do as a final project in college, is they make a bunch of mock campaigns and then create their own portfolio. So, <laughs> it was like, did I just get beat out by a college kid? I did. I uh, was on LinkedIn looking at other positions in the area and um, it came up, like the company that I was applying for came up or applying with and it came up that, you know, like congratulate them, they hired this new person. And the literal experience that she had was an eight month internship at a local advertising company. So, um, I got under, like undersold, what's that called? Undercut, where um, uh, they're probably just paying her significantly less than the salary that I asked for. And the salary that I asked for was definitely on the mid to low end of the range for what it should have been for that position. So I guess I don't really know the point of the story, except that I was so upset at the beginning of this week, like, I don't know I just I don't know and it's like it's still hard for me to kind of cope with a little bit because I got into that mindset of like oh this is gonna be the thing that's gonna help and change our family um, and then it didn't work out so I'm back to square one except I have no idea what I'm gonna do like I just don't know Because while I do love um, like freelancing and my clients, I don't have all that many, so it's not enough to like provide for the family, especially given that um, my husband may be out of work soon. So that's just kind of the update on that. And um, I guess the update is that there's no update. <laughs> Nothing has really changed except I had a really, really rough few days. And um, yeah, it, it just, it's one of those things where it's like, you get so in your head and so excited and then it doesn't happen and you completely doubt yourself and your skills and your abilities and your values. So that was basically the beginning of the week for me. I don't have any answers, but I'm at least in a little bit better of a headspace in that I can't help that they were cheap. So let's dive into this guy. So I'm gonna start with this shade here. I wish they had names. I love shade names, but they don't have names, they have numbers. This one is number nine, um, <laughs> right there. So if you guys have any advice on just like how you help yourself get through stuff like this, please let me know because it's just it's hard it's hard just not knowing what to do and it's like yeah it's just a job and a job is just where you you know make money to live your life but I don't I hate that I hate that idea like I feel like you spend so much of your life at a job you should at least like your job and you know and I feel like I've worked really hard in this field and I've worked just really hard in the field that it sucks that I have to like think about taking huge steps backwards in my career just because 
people don't get it here. And I'm gonna use number 12. And I'm also gonna be done with that topic. Um, and there, there's not really much more to say, I guess. So we will move on from that and talk about other things. <laughs> So spring is upon us, right? I am so excited because I can see, ooh, that's much darker than I thought it was gonna be. I'm so excited because I can see my garden like coming out of the snow in the backyard, which means that soon I can plant my garden. Um, I'm a huge gardener and I am so glad that like we have the opportunity to live in this house where we have space because prior to this I was a community gardener which means that I would like basically like rent garden space. I actually used to be on a compost collective when I lived in San Diego so I loved gardening but I would always like jam so many vegetables in my like little space of land I could get that now I have a backyard and we're gonna put in a little bit bigger garden this year. Um, so I might even like make a jelly or something fun. I'm very excited for that. I love that part of springtime where I actually get to like dig in the ground and plant things. And my son is just like obsessed with tomatoes. Like he won't eat them, he just is obsessed with growing them because last year um, we had, these blend very nicely I will say. Um, but last year we had tomato plants and they were orange, like the little orange baby ones. And I'm gonna just use just a little bit of this darker shade. And he was obsessed with going to check on the oranges every day. So this year we're gonna let him plant his very own plant in a pot. So he'll have his very own oranges that he gets to go check on and take care of and water um, and do all of that stuff this year. I'm, I'm, I'm excited because I think he's gonna be just super cute about it and I am just gonna melt a thousand times over and want to have another baby as soon as possible <laughs> um, which I don't know we've been getting that question a lot lately I feel like when your kids like two to three people start asking when you're gonna have another one and we've definitely been getting that question and I just I don't have an answer just because like I don't feel like we should have another baby when we don't have a whole lot of money because you know babies are expensive diapers we're just out of diapers now and holy shit do you save a lot of money not using diapers like i honestly think that if we do have another baby i would want to try cloth diapering um but that's a commitment man i don't know <laughs> especially if they have to go to daycare um i don't know but i don't know is the answer to are we gonna have another one anytime soon? I would like to before Magnus gets to be five and he will be four in November. So I mean, that does give us a bit of time to make a decision um, and hopefully, you know, get stuff back on the right track and just be ready because I think he will be a really good older brother and I can tell, this is gonna sound weird, but I can tell he's an only child. Does that make sense? Like just the way he plays and plays with other kids, I can tell that like he doesn't have somebody around him constantly to play with. Um, like he plays with us and we play with him, but that's not, you know, having another kid around. Okay, now I'm gonna just put this, that I jam with my finger, <laughs> this gold little sparkly number four. I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of just tap it on the eyelid. Yeah, so it's like, I can just tell in the way he plays with other, not plays with other kids, because he goes to daycare and he plays with other kids, but there's just, I don't know. I don't even know how to ex like explain what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. Uh, this palette costs $7, uh, worth it. Um, it's just like, he's a little shy. Like we went to this playground and he wasn't, you know, we thought he was gonna love it and just like go crazy because he loves the park by our house. And maybe it's just his age or I'm not, I don't know. But we got to this like indoor playground and there was a bunch of kids there and he just kind of got a little shy and a little scared. So <laughs> pretty. I am so surprised by this palette. I just picked it up because I like these two colors down here and this is 
really nice. <laughs> I just went and popped on some Lash Princess False Lash Effect from Essence. This is a really good mascara and it's only $5 at the drugstore. Check it out. For my face today, I'm going to use this Cover FX Perfector Face Palette again because I really like the contour shade in here. It works well with my skin. Um, and yep. Back to the subject at hand. I guess that is my kind of answer not answer to are we having more kids anytime soon i'd like to but not soon soon but you never know you just you never know um maybe that's you know one of the weird things that the world's got in store it looks so good is maybe i didn't get that job because maybe it is time to expand our family i don't know <sighs> It's hard to be a grown up and make grown up decisions and to know what to do with your life. All I wanna do is sit here, put on makeup and talk to you guys and have fun with that because it's so fun. <laughs> and I love all of your guys' comments. Every time you, you know, talk and talk to each other in the comments, it makes me so happy. I'm going to use this highlighter, but this blush is a teeny bit too pink for me. So I'm going to use, you know, you guys are going to be so shocked when I say Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild. And other than that, not a whole lot's going on in our world. Um, my parents are coming back from Arizona this weekend, so I'm so excited because that means we might actually get to go to the movies every once in a while. And um, yeah, I'm just excited that... I don't have to wear a jacket, like my huge down jacket anymore. I can just wear a sweater or a long sleeve t-shirt and it's great. Hooray for spring. Um, it smells terrible outside, boo for spring, but that will end shortly. Let's try this highlighter. It's called Divine. Well, that's nice. It's just kind of a nice little sheen. Not too in... Ooh, maybe it's got a nice pop. I have to say, this is this was a definite, like, I'm really glad we got this in last month's BoxyCharm. It's a really nice thing to have. I'm actually going to take it when I travel next week. I'm going to go visit my BFF in LA for a few days, and we're going to go see Pink in concert. I'm very excited. Um, but I think I'm going to take this with me. Actually, I might just take these two with me. Um, you can do a lot of looks with this and this is my whole face. So actually this, this kind of just might be my travel bag. We'll see. <sighs> you guys, I just spent like three minutes looking for a, a lip color that was literally right in front of me. I couldn't find it because instead of it laying on its side, it was sitting up like this and I looked all around everything except this. Anyway, today for my lips, I am wearing the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress. I really like this. It's a nice formula and it actually does stay on quite a long time. Um, it's a little bit tacky throughout the day, um, but it stays on forever, so I'm not going to complain too much. And that is the lip color. Okay, watch. So it's a little bit sticky. When it does dry down a little more, it's less tacky, but that kind of stays throughout the day. I do really like it and it does stay. It just, that's kind of a thing to know. All right, you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for listening. If you stayed around and listened to what I was rambling about, I appreciate you so much you don't even know. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.